Yesterday, uh, right now, Michelle's not getting paid anything. <laughs> and she points that out. <laughs> I mean, that is like, don't you think, I think that's real, ner- that this is, I, I wouldn't even think of that. So she gets, she complains, you know, yes, she got to travel uh, wherever, but, you know, I didn't get paid for it. Where everything is paid, 1-855-400-SAVAGE, 1-855-400-7282. Linda on line five is listening in Michigan on WJR. Linda, you're up next on the Savage Nation. Yes, I would just like to say that, number one, I did not vote for Michelle Obama, and if she doesn't like it and wants to moan and groan about it, get out of the White House. Go. I'd be happy to see both of them go, because I think (laughs) what Mr. Obama does is everything intended. Michael Savage pointed it out in a piece uh, a few weeks ago that everything's in the name, and if you think about it and you watch... It's gotten much worse with the Obamas currently, and it's going to get much, much worse before he leaves office. Yes. Michelle Obama should not get a penny from us. She lives in the lap of luxury. Yep. Linda, thank you for the call. Can you imagine there's a state dinner and someone says, wow, Michelle, that is really incredible, and your dress, and got to meet the heads of state, and then she looks at you and says, yeah, and I was doing it for free. Line three is Annie listening on WMAL in our nation's capital. Annie, this is John DiPietro. You're up next on the Savage Nation. Hello, Annie. Yes, sir. I got an opinion, all right. I think that they're asking for too much. They get too much, and I wish they'd hurry up and get out of the White House because we need somebody in there like Hillary that will do us right. (laughs) You're a big Hillary supporter, Annie? Yeah, but I don't vote, so I just I, but I would like to see her in there because I know that Clinton helped her, and she heal. Uh, they'll be the they'll be just great when they get in there. <laughs> I don't know about that. We'll talk about that coming up though. One eight five five four hundred Savage. Hillary has a challenger now with uh, Lincoln Chafee. We'll play some of that coming up as well. One eight five five four hundred seven two eight two. The website is michaelsavage.com. This is John DePietro sitting in for Doctor Michael Savage, and this is. The Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O-I-N. But before we got to the White House, when she was working, I wanted her to get paid the same as a man did. Because if she was getting paid, that, that money accrued to our account. <laughs> Just as her expenses accrued to our account. So there's a family issue. That is President Obama. You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Michael Savage. If you'd like to call into the program, 1-855-400-SAVAGE is the phone number. 1-855-400-7282. President Obama, pretending he's joking around talking about pay inequality, but actually bringing up something that it sounds like they talk about in the White House, and that is, should Michelle Obama be paid to be First Lady? That never occurred to me. He ran. Everything is paid for with them. As one of the callers said, they do live in the lap of luxury. Everywhere they travel, every meal, everything is paid for. And you get the sense that What, behind the scenes, that's not enough that she's actually complaining about this? Can you imagine the nerve and the gall? How was the trip to pick a country? Well, you know, I'm not getting paid to do this. State dinner tonight? Heads of state? Well, you know, be time and a half if I was punching the old clock here at the way. I mean, the, the absolute gall and nerve for these people, they, they know no bounds at all. Zero class to be joking about this. What do you think? Let's go out to line one. Jim is listening on WABC in New York. Jim, you're up on the Savage Nation. Hello, Jim. Hi, I have two concepts. I'll save the second one in case if you you don't disconnect me, I'll tell you about the second one. But the first one, we should expand this idea about Mrs. Obama being paid. It occurs to me, maybe it occurs to you, that... Their product is words. It's either spoken words or written words. That's what both her and her husband produce. 
words. The words are valueless unless there's some audience to listen to and to read the words. Therefore, the audience should participate in this revenue stream. I should be paid if I'm going to listen to what she or her husband has to say. No. No, no one should be paid. And starting with Michelle Obama, can you imagine the nerve of, of the things they get to go to and travel? And somehow she's got, what, a chip on her shoulder because she's not being paid? Let's go to line seven. Lisa is listing in Kansas City on KCMO. Lisa, hello. This is John DePietro, and you're on the Savage Nation. Hello. Hi, Lisa. Um, Michelle Obama has like 23 people who work for her. The top paid are way over $100,000. Um, Hillary had three, but the rest of our first ladies only had one person that worked for them. And um, Mamie Eisenhower paid hers out of her husband's salary. So this is not fair. Where does she get off? You know, Lisa, I think this does come into the fact of who they interact with. And, you know, they, they see the Kardashians making all this money on their reality shows and this other stuff and they see Beyonce and and I think in Michelle Obama's mind she feels like hey listen I'm a bigger celebrity than they are and I should be making the kind of money and paydays that they're making but you know it it, it never they, these these people thank you for the call Lisa they never cease to amaze me think of, of of the experience they have the opportunity they have you represent the United States you're the first lady but behind the scenes Michelle Obama? Is she she's complaining about not getting paid? Am I missing something? Do you what do you think? Should she be getting paid? Michelle Obama? 1-855-400 Savage. 1-855-400-7282. Welcome back and take your calls on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400 Savage. 855-400-7282. Malia start their careers. The idea that they'd be treated differently as somebody's sons is unacceptable. That is President Obama. You're listening to the Savage Nation. This is John DePietro sitting in for Dr. Michael Savage. You can call into the program 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Our website is is michaelsavage.com for the latest news and headlines and also your opportunity to order Countdown to Mecca, the new novel coming soon, available for pre-order right now. It will be available on May 15th. You can order it right now at michaelsavage.com. You know, it's amazing the way these people think. And as far as these people, I mean the far left especially the Obamas. This was supposed to be talk of pay inequality. And the president starts talking about the fact. And I, I have to think, you know how a lot of times people say things in jest, but then you find out it is really something that's been bothering them or they've been discussing. And, and apparently one of the things that the Obamas have been discussing is the fact that Michelle Obama doesn't get paid to be the first lady. And they somehow think she should be paid. To be the first lady. I that would never I would never even think of something like that. Everything you could ever want is right there. You're the first lady living in the White House, traveling the world, and that's not enough. State dinners, trips, Olympics, whatever it may be, never enough. I think it comes down to the celebrity factor where they see, whether it be a Beyonce or the Kardashians that make huge amounts of money. And the fact, can you imagine this was even discussed, the moaning and the groaning, ah, no pay to have to go to, you know, the White House egg hunt or whatever they're doing. It, it's just, I, I think it's real gall and nerve. And the fact that when he mentions his daughters, well, of course they should be paid the same as a male, unless they end up, you know, marrying someone who runs for office or some line of work. And then that would fall into them what do you think let's go to line one suzanne is listening huntsville alabama on wvnn suzanne you're up on the savage nation hello suzanne hi nice to talk with you thank you suzanne uh, i have a quick comment and my comment would be that our military wives should get paid before michelle obama should get a penny 
That is exactly right, Suzanne. I mean, think of them making the argument. That, you know, Suzanne, that's sacrifice. That's real sacrifice. Do the Obamas, Suzanne, is Michelle Obama really have to sacrifice? You could say privacy for the girls or privacy the amount of time. But you, you tell me, Suzanne, who sacrifices more, Michelle Obama or military wives? Michelle Obama has no idea what our military wives go through or our military families. And I would take it a step farther and say that civil servants, Congress, Senate, the president, their pay should be in correlation to what the military earns, the same with their benefits. That is exactly right. Thank you for the call, Suzanne. Let's go to line five. Ralph is listening on WABC in New York. Ralph, this is John DePietro. You're up next on The Savage Nation. Well, John, the, the president is very, very clever in the way he uh, he veils this proposal in jest. I mean, he's he's an expert, a master at this, and he's brought to, and you, you hit it on the button before when you said they've talked about this, they've spoken about it, it's been discussed, he, he, he brought it out in very veiled fashion, and we just get a little taste now, and so it's in the public's mind. And, you know, as we sit and wait for this, these, these horrendous, horrendous eight-year period to, to end, these people have never um, adhered to any kind of tradition. They've, they've never been uh, what you would call, they've never um, taken the, the way we do things here and, uh, and run with it. They don't know how to do that. So does it, in the long run, John, does this really surprise you that they would go in this direction? Nothing they, would, nothing they do in their minds is beyond contempt. They will say or do anything just to, give, just to see how far they can push the envelope, John. You're right. And Ralph, can you imagine, I mean, now you look in, no wonder he's always on the golf course. No wonder he's always traveling. No wonder they go on different planes, even though, you know, they're going to be in California on the same day. Who, Ralph, can you imagine who would want to listen to her complaining and going on and on about the fact that she's not getting paid, that Michelle Obama is upset that she's not getting paid as first lady. And Ralph, can you imagine them having the conversation of, you know, Hillary might be the next president, who knows, but then Michelle Obama, oh yeah, she's going to get paid. And Beyonce gets paid. And uh, and and the Kardashians get paid. But no, 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 I have to do this for free. Ralph, it never occurred to me, just the sheer nerve, gall, un- ungratefulness, ingratitude. I mean, I th- this is... I can't even, Ralph, can you imagine, this is another level. I would never think this is the type of thing that they're upset about. Well, do you know that they don't think the way you and I think because they've, they've succeeded in doing things the way they've done it. They've, they've, they've pulled the wool over, over this country's eyes to such a fa- I mean, to such an extent. Now, hear, hear this, John. You get these, you, you uh, feel these wonderful calls from all, the, all these wonderful women around the country, and they, they, of course, agree because they're logical and they live the life every day. They understand. But I'm telling you, from my part of the country, if you polled the, the women here on the East Coast, especially here, in the, in the five boroughs in New York City, there, you may get many people that say, yes, she should be paid. Why not? <laughs> It's only fair. Women should get, get paid. This is a wonderful idea. You'd be surprised, John. Thank you. Thank you for the call, Ralph. 1-855-400-SAVAGE. 1-855-400-7282. Should Michelle Obama get paid as first lady? This is what they're upset about. This is their idea of pay inequality what does a a single mom think who's working three jobs to keep it together this is why it's 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 they can't even enjoy the white house she's so upset about this a chip on her shoulder about it is this something other people has anyone ever seen her and said wow michelle obama she does all that work and all that traveling that's terrible she's doing it for free you get to be the first lady the absolute appalling gall now, to me, that that's no class. That is zero class if that's the type of thing that you're hung up on. Let's go to line two. Kathy is listening on WJR in Detroit. Kathy, you're up next on the Savage Nation. Hi, John. Thanks for taking my call. You're very welcome. You know what? Uh, this is not a surprise that they would talk about this to me, but, you know, I don't know any anybody, any wife or husband that gets paid to do their spouse's job. Nobody to stay to do the other person's job. And as far as uh, worrying about keeping up with the Kardashians or Beyonce, um, if she wants to get hired or get paid to do a job like that, she can go talk to one of the studios and see if they'd like to pay her to 
put her life on TV, and then they can pick 